Hey, y'all, what's up? In this little particular video that I'm doing, this is just to give you a template how to start a Project 5, or in other words, how Project 5 should look like already. All right. Um, I'm going to show you my board, my screen, rather. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started about this now. Show my screen. Your entire screen. All right. Now we are rocking. All right, y'all. So look. Project file is a lot. But if you do, do this the right way and provide the correct efforts and stuff, you'll be all right. So let's go ahead and look into this. So y'all, yeah, this is an example, okay? A, a example, not a something that you copy and paste from. So remember, examples are something to kind of show you what it should look like. All right? I know many of you guys are struggling about how to put things together. And so you guys, this is an example that um, I typed up from back when I did this similar project for a different subject at a different school. So remember, I taught it six years. I taught various states. So in Texas, when they did Project 5, they did it about rational functions. And again, I just copy. I typed the information from one of my kids' work and typed in here exactly as how the kid written it. All right? So let me read it to you exactly as the student wrote it. So learning about rational functions is overall fun, tricky, and a bit confusing. It comes from applying elementary knowledge of rational functions. As the concepts continue, it get confused due to applying various concepts away from a rational number. It's graphs, characteristics, and transformation. Rational functions get easier when modeling to real life and to see how the precise definition of mathematics is stated. So this is the student's introduction, all right? Is it perfect? No, but however, the student used his or her own words. This is his and, own, and her own words. This is their work, all right? His or hers, all right? That's what I want you guys to see. And by looking at this paragraph, the that person used I, me, he, you, I feel. No, there was no feelings about it. The person just stated the facts. Because I don't need to know about your feelings and all that because I already know. Because when I read this, I already know. And you know, these are the person's thoughts and feelings behind it. So I'm trying to get you away from using the words, I feel, me, this, that, and all that when you talking about experiences that you incur because when you guys get older, that's not going to work. And in addition to when you, you know, guys leave and go to other places or Work in the workforce is not going to do you no good. Not unless you're going to be a laborer doing things by hand on your life, which is cool, but at some point, you know, physically, that's going to get physically tiresome. So, this is a reason why I, in addition to other teachers, want you to write. So, again, this person did not use I, me, you. He, the person made it all about the rational functions. Hear me? That's what this is about. Rational functions. It's not about nothing else. All right, so let's continue. So again, he double space. Again, space is around, so 
you made a lot happen in that one page. Rational functions are fun because of the elementary concepts, such as when dividing the keep change reciprocate makes the difficult concepts of rational numbers much easier. Not having to convert rational numbers into mixed numbers, mixed fractions, is a breath of fresh air. The terminology sounds more sophisticated. The word fraction becomes rational and is represented by the letter Q, thus making it sound more elegant than childish. Hmm. That student of mine was very particular about vernacular wording. And yes, when you guys write your stuff, you have to use mathematical vocabulary because this is a math paper. So you got to give him that particularity because, again, this is a test grade. I'm looking to see what, you know, how much you learn, how much can you demonstrate. All right? That's what I wanted the first page to be about. But we're not done here. So, again, T talked about what was easy about it. Again, those are his words or her words. Does not matter. But there was no I, me, he, she, or it. Because I already know who in this person is. The person just gave me his opinion as if there are facts. And I know that is something of a confusing concept to y'all, but you guys are gonna have to just move on and kind of learn this quick. All right, so let's move on to the second part of his work. Well, the third part, rather. Rational numbers become more tricky because of the elevation of simple concepts. Simplifying used to be about dividing and GCF, but now can cancel things out when rational numbers have the same integers in both numerator and denominator. Rational numbers, prim primitive definition, was about integers written as quotient, but the denominator can't be zero because it becomes defined or has the error message when put into a calculator. Notice that the person still didn't say you, me, I, they, anything like that. Well, they probably did use they. They is right, but you don't want to be too often about that. So you still got to talk about rational numbers or rational functions. Always use that. You can get away with it, but they be careful about it. All right, so let's move on here. The challenge of rational functions is when dealing with rational expressions, graphs, transformations, and equations. Rational expressions use the law of exponent in addition to the conditions of a rational number and simplification of rational numbers, such as cancellation, when the same integers are in the number to one. Rational number is pressure into another. All right? So that's what this is about. So again, that's that person's first page. And I just typed it as if he or she written it exactly. So throughout this time, because we got two weeks, I'm going to help you with an example, but I'm not giving you something similar. I can't give you nothing similar because you have to demonstrate what you learn and you have to put your pieces together about rational and logarithmic functions. We play the cahoots. I assign the cahoots. You guys got your quizzes back. So use Math Nation. You got all of that. So once more, you are not allowed to go Google to copy and paste anything. If I see you go to Google, because I will read these, it's a zero. You got to put this in your own words. This is you. You are speaking. And again, this person is his her, or her paper, but that person is not using I, he, she, me, it. So if that person can do it, you got no choice in the obligation. Again, this is a test grade. So you got to be able to write math. You have to be able to explain your own words. So you can't do neither. This third nine weeks, this is it. So that's how I wanted to show you guys. And yes, I will show you guys this copy of this. 
in a PDF version, that is, of the first page. And throughout this, I'm just going to be doing pages here and there. All right? So, if you have not started your first page, you did not get credit for today's participation, today's assignment. I may get you credit because your body was here, but the fact that you didn't do no work, I can't really give you much. All right? This is what the first page should look like. Again, I'll be helping you here and there, giving you what things should look like. All right, y'all. I'm out.